So tell me how you got put on. So I got put on when I was 12 years old. I got put on by six dudes. They all was grown. My bro, he took me up there. He was fucking with my sister, but he was already game making. So I used to go around to the house and shit. He would always be like, man, you should get put on, you should get put on. So one day I'm like, fuck it. My sister sleep, my mom sleep, we sneak out, we go. I got put on that night. Yup, a sick grown ass man. They whooped my ass. It was brutal. What did they do? They were whooping my, they didn't stump me out. They just was just whooping my ass, man. Every time they hit me, I fell down. It was bad, but after, after that ass whooping, it was love. I felt love. Which you didn't feel in your family? Kind, I felt more love. I felt more love in the hood. Yes, I did. I felt like it was more support. And yes. how, how old were you when this happened? I was 12 years old. 12? Yes, sir. And that changed the direction of your life? Totally. Major way, right? Corrupted. <laughs> <laughs> so how much prison time have you done? See, I did five. Mm -hmm. what, what kind of stuff were you doing at, after 12 years old? Uh, 12, uh, I don't know, I was a badass kid putting firecrackers and um, the girls' backpacks and shit and, you know, just bad kid, corrupted. Just corrupted, man. I don't know. I moved to uh, South Central, all them black people, I don't know. I got caught up. I did. You proud to be a crip? I am. I am really am. How old are you now? I'm 25. 25. And so there's Crips, Bloods, there's Hoovers. It's Hoovers are called... Hoovers are criminals. They're called criminals. And then you got gangsters. Gangsters moving. They say moving. They go by third, you feel me? I don't do none of them. I don't do none of them. See, I'm from neighborhood. You feel me? We khaki blue. We don't do the other side. Something that we just don't do. And Bloods call each other... Damus. Damus, yeah. Damus and um, Parus. You did some by Slavs and some, or by saying Darus. And Crips call each other what? Crips. Crips. You did Crips by saying crabs. Yeah. And what's, it, what's gang life in prison like? To be honest, um, it's like more militant. It's more serious. It's way more serious than the streets. I feel like in prison, it's way tougher than the streets. It's way tougher than the streets because people is in there and it's like more, they, all they do, they don't got nothing to do, so all they do is just game bang. It's who, who's gonna come in and I seen some shit happen on them yards, man. I see some shit happens, man. I, I was part of some of that shit, man. Some of that violence. I didn't want to, but you don't got no choice when you get up there. You really got no choice. It's either you, you're gonna do it, or they gonna get you. Put it, you can't hide. If you roll it up, that's the end of your career. You be running. So, nigga, don't fold. If you wanna join that lifestyle, don't fold. Be ready for what you're about to get into, straight up. This shit ain't no game. What's the quality you need most to do this? Um, you need, you need um, street, street, street smart, you need to be wise, just have a good head on your shoulder. You need courage? Courage, heart, and don't be scary. It's okay to be scared, but just don't be no pussy. Straight up, like, just go in there, like, you want a game bang, game bang. It's nothing good, though. Nothing good in it. What do they say, death or, uh, death or um, prison? Death or prison, that's really the, what's gonna happen if you stay in the hood. And what, what do you think makes that attractive to a young man? Um, to be honest, I think it's the um, the boldness, the like, the braveness, the toughness. Um, probably how the, how the other females, you know, the female the crowd, they kind of go towards the game members. So the young dude, he'll probably see that and be like, he might be a follower, become a follower, and want to be like them. That's what I. That's what I. That's what I was. I was a follower, kind of, sort of. You're better off being a leader. Yes, it's way more better. It's a better view. Up top, that you feel me? Tell me about karma. Karma, oh, that's a bitch. <laughs> it's gotta be with this life, right? Yeah, she gonna come back, trust and believe, one way or other. Like my mama said, what, what goes around comes around, trust me. It might not come back, it might happen tomorrow, the next day, or nigga, 10 years from now, but trust me, they gonna get their revenge, somehow. Yup, it's real. That's gotta make it rough to go through life, right? It's rough, but well, sometimes when you're doing shit and you're taking shit or whatever you're doing, if you're doing bad, just don't give a fuck. You can't give a fuck. Once you give a fuck, you're gonna fuck up. If you're gonna do that, do that. Don't try to go in there and then, if you're gonna be a tough guy, don't try to go in there and be tough and then now all of a sudden you wanna be all nice and shit, like, stay committed. Tell me about your, uh, your family. My family, um, they doing good. My mom, you know, she at home with my sister and shit. You have your dad? Oh, I never met him. Never met my dad, but uh, yeah, my mom thought I was game banging. She slapped me in juvenile hall when she came to see me. I did 18 months there. I got sentenced with three months there, but I did 18 months though, by getting refiled. Every time you fight, you get an extra three months. So I started with three, I ended up with 18 months. Yeah, that was crazy. So yeah, it was tough. But they, overall, they doing all right. I'm home, I'm home. We all free, man. 
So it's good. Free. Tell me about the tattoos on your face. Tattoos on my face. Oh, my, turn, it's my hood. Turn this way. And then turn the other way. Yeah, man, it's the hood. Man, I got the hood tats on me. For me. I'm committed, man. I, I made a, I made a decision, so I'm gonna rock with it. That's gonna make it hard for you to get a job at Chipotle. I mean, I accept all my consequences. As long as you accept your consequences, take it like a man, you'll be alright. So, would you describe yourself as uh, self-destructive? Uh, when I want to be, when I get into that mode, I, I'm a good guy though. I'm funny and shit, but like, it all depends who I'm around. What how the environment is. What's the you feel me? How it is. What's the temperature out there? Like, I'm just gonna give a motherfucker what they what, whatever they want. I'm gonna match their energy. Your environment's everything, isn't it? Everything, yep. And family. And family. But that's, that's your environment. God first, then family. Yep, we go a long way. Keep them. You have kids? I have one. And who's who's he with? A daughter. Your daughter. Who's she with? My her mother, her name Binky. My daughter named Kimaya. You see her? You see her? No, I do not. Cause I'm out here, you feel me? And you already know my situation. nigga getting high as a motherfucker. My she don't need to see me right now. I'm not, you feel me? Nah, I'd rather her not see me. I really don't, I'm still young, you feel me? I care, but it's like, I care, but then it's like, ugh. I'm still young and I'm thugging, so it's like, I care, but I'm thugging though. You feel me? That's like being in the hood, on the phone, talking to your bitch, you slipping, you don't get your head blown off. Trying to, or trying to pop at a bitch going across the street in so your hood. So you're torn between being a good guy and a bad guy? Good guy and a bad guy, yup. I, I think I'm a good guy, but make bad decisions. I think so. I finally realized that. And where do you see your life going from here? Man, a billionaire. A billionaire, probably staying at Trump Towers. How's that gonna happen? I don't, I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but I'm gonna do it though. Are drugs part of the picture for you? Drugs, um, it's not gonna, it's, it's not a, it's not gonna be a, um, a, all thing of my life. It's gonna stop, but for right now, I'm enjoying it. So, what is that? Uh, crystal meth? Um, yes, sir. It's a meth. popular drug now, isn't it? Very popular. Very popular. I remember I used to look at people weird who said they did that shit. Once they told me they did it, I swear to God, I cut them off. I didn't want them no part of my life. Like, you do drugs, like, I'm straight. It's weird, though, how everybody doing it now. Especially black people. And what does crystal meth do for you? Um, it, it gives me a strive. Pumps me up. Have me ready for whatever. Like, if I get hit by a truck, I feel like I'll survive it. If I get shot, somebody shoot me, I feel like I survive it because I don't know. It's just, it's bad, but it helps you out a lot too, though. It, start, it, it sharpens you or it can make you paranoid. It depends on my game. Mine never matters. So it's whatever you, you want to expect. Like, if you're weak minded, you're going to get fucked. Straight up. How many days you go without sleep on that? Shit, like a month. <laughs> <laughs> Incredible hawk <laughs> shit. <laughs> and then when you do sleep, you sleep for how long? I'll probably sleep for like a, two days. Get right back to it. Man, Hitler almost took over the world with this shit. Hitler discovered this shit. Blame it on Hitler. Yup. Hitler was a bad guy. Do you believe in God? Yeah, I do. At once I didn't, but then later on down, down the line, I finally found, I finally realized it was a God. Like, I felt him. What's the most important lesson you've learned? To always, to always go to a first mind and make the right decision and don't follow and don't let nobody um, push you over and don't be no yes man. Don't always just, just don't be no yes man to ever, anything. Just don't. Just know I, as a man, as a woman, that you're an adult and you do have the right to make your own decision. So don't let, what I learned is that, you know, make your own decision. I don't know, just be yourself. Don't try to be nobody else. I learned, I can't find the word. I can't, I'm, think, I'm trying to think of the word, but I can't really, I can't figure it out, man. I'm like, I can't figure it out, but yeah. I think that's about it. Think for yourself. Mm-hmm, think for yourself. You been in love before? Once, I don't like it. I don't like it. I, I, um, I felt it, it was this one girl, her name was Trenisha, um, but she was cool, but she was like, um, kind of like a bugaboo. But she was sexy though, but like just a bugaboo. Want to be my face all day? I want to be a player. I see. I can't. She want to be my face. I'm pushing her off. And make a long story short, I end up um, breaking up with the bitch. But once I broke up with her, that's when I found out I loved her. It was weird. 
how much I really like need want needed her like by my side. You feel me? I was doing good. Like when she was around, I was doing good. Once she left, I just started going downhill, going back to jail, all the shits. Yup. So y'all yeah, felt it. I don't like it. I still love that bitch. And she moved on already. Got kids and all that. That shit hurt. Like fuck. I wanna fuck with her. Like, but I fucked that up, man. Fucked it up. Sometimes you lose. Snooze, you lose. Is that one of the mistakes you've learned from? Hmm? Is that one of the mistakes you've learned from in your life? Yes. To keep something, some, something, something special, hold on to it. You consider yourself lucky? Yes. And, yes, I do. You're alive? Yes, sir. I'm, yes. You got friends that are dead, right? A lot. A whole lot. And I'll be thinking like, damn, I could have been there with them. But yet, I'd be somewhere else. I've seen so many guys like yourself that were much older that have yeah. survived and all their friends have been murdered or whatever. And it's almost like they had a, something protecting them from. You gotta, you, gotta, you gotta be thirsty out there. You gotta, see, I'm a thirsty crib. You gotta be thirsty. You just gotta be on everything. When you game banking, you gotta watch every car that passes. You gotta be on everything. Win everything, especially in South Central. You must be on everything. Don't just be walking thinking it's good. Be on everything. That, you gotta be on everything. And bang on everything. Don't try to think where a nigga from. Bang on that nigga. And if you got him, you know what to do after that. What emotion do you deal with most? Uh, you get angry, you depressed, anything like that? Depressed more. Stress. Trying to just, just trying to make everything happen. What do, you, what do you worry about? My mom and my sister. Yep. If they eating good, you know, money in their pocket, you know, enjoy life. That's what I... I don't know. I haven't been there, so I just uh, pray they, they doing good, though. Tell me how shame plays a part in your life. <clears throat> Say that one more time. How shame plays a part in your life. Shame? A lot. Like guilt or shame? Shame, yep, a lot. Um, what was my family? But I feel like I um, kind of like turned my back on them. Even though I'm grown and I can do what I please, but I still feel like my mom need me, and I kind of like just like brushed it off. Like even though she's been there for me, through all them times going to juvenile hall, all them schools I didn't got kicked out of, find out I'm a crib, you know, tattoos on my face. Anybody else probably would have left their kids already. Like you know what, you're on your own. But yeah, she still rock with me. Come visit me, put money on my books. You feel me? Still be like if I go right now, she gonna welcome me. Good woman. Yep, good woman. Very good woman. You're lucky to have that. Yes, yes, sir. What advice would you give to a young man who's considering joining a gang? Man, look, don't be stupid, man. Gang banking is not cool, man. You see, you see the funness of it. They see the funness of it, the popularity of it. It's all popularity, publicity. They look at that and they see that, like, man, if I do this, I'm gonna be popping. Cause right now, with the, the state that they in right now, they're like a nerd geek, not getting no ladies. So, gang banking is not cool, man. Trust me, it's a bad time too. When it's time to go slide and do all that, trust me, you don't want to go through that. Trust me, don't do it, man. Just get a job, go to college, get them hotties, and get, try to get a um, try to work at Chick Fil A. Be a square. Be a square, straight up. Square's the best thing, man. Go anywhere. I can't go anywhere. And no tattoos on the face. <laughs> do you regret the getting? The, yeah, don't do no shit like that. Don't do no. Do you regret the tattoos on your face? I like it, but I don't because it's just it's not good. It's, it got its good, but then it got its bad too. So just to cancel all that, to prevent all that, just don't get them. So when you get your interview on your job, you for sure get it. It won't be no exceptions. All right, Faze. Well, great talking to you. Yeah. I wish you the best of luck, man. All right. Thanks, man.